guys welcome back to my channel as you can tell from the video um we are going to be talking all about my braces today i feel like in my other videos you can tell that i have braces but if you did not know i have braces so before we get into the video if you could just do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button and then after you hit subscribe hit that notification bell so that you know when i post a new video for you guys all right, let's get right into the video. So first, I'm gonna pull out my list because I did create a list of things that I wanted to cover in this video. Okay, so the first thing, why did I get braces? Now, when I got braces, um, a lot of people were like, you don't need, or when I said I wanted braces, um, people were like, why'd you get braces? You don't need braces, da, da, da. And you know, it really irritated me because it's like, what part? Of orthodontics did you study to know what I need? No. Anyways, so I got braces because my teeth were not like, hmm. When people think of somebody getting braces, they think of somebody who has like super gap teeth or somebody whose teeth are like, you know, sitting on top of each other, throwing up gang signs, no shade. But my teeth were not like that. My teeth were pretty straight. Had, could I have went my life without getting braces? Yes, I had went 20 for 23 years without braces so yes i could have went without braces but i did not want to so i got braces because i have um a little bit of flaring in my teeth so what that means is say like this is my bottom row and this is my top row instead of it being lined up like this until you can see instead of it being lined up straight it kind of flared out a little bit and i know that looks dramatic but like it wasn't like this, but it was like this. It flared out. And they weren't like touching each other like this. They were also like a little spread out. And I'm gonna try to insert pictures so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. So, and people didn't really see the flare because like you don't talk to people from the side. You know, people see you, they see you most of the time. Um, they see you straight on. So my issue was more so from the side. And from the front, my teeth were not like they were pretty straight, but they could use some work, hence why I got braces. Like, I feel like if I did not need braces, the orthodontist would not have agreed to put them on my teeth. So, in short, I got braces to fix the flaring in my teeth. Um, how I put, next thing I put down was price. How much do my braces cost? Well, for my previous treatment, I think I had to pay, my previous, when I say previous treatment, I mean when I was in Missouri, y'all know. I'm back in North Carolina now. So when I I got braces when I was in Missouri. So when I was in Missouri, um, I think I had to contribute like twenty five hundred. Um, I did not have to put down a down payment, and my payments were gonna be like one ten a month. So I could have put down a down payment, but it wouldn't have made much difference. Like one ten a month was not that hard for me to come off of. But now that I'm in Charlotte. Sorry, I got the window open and I can see what's going on outside. Um, so now that I'm in Charlotte and I went to a consultation with another orthodontist, what? I cannot do this and have the window open. Now that I went to another orthodontist in North Carolina, their thing is different. I don't know if it's because I'm on a different insurance now or what, but the pricing is different. So with them, I had to pay one ten a month. In Missouri, I had to pay one ten a month with no down payment here i have to put down a down payment and this particular orthodontist they gave me a website that and she gave me three different treatment plans and i will get further into the treatment plans um later on in the video but she gave me the option of sticking with traditional braces um doing another doing another treatment but it will be shorter but still with traditional braces and switching to invisalign um for me to stick with traditional braces and put down like 500 a month, put down 500 for the down payment, I think it would be like 80 or or $100, not much different than what I was paying. But with the Invisalign, for me to put down 500, my payments would be like 180. So as far as pricing, it really depends on your insurance and your orthodontist. Because, like I said, in my other orthodontist in Missouri, I did not have to have a down payment and I was only paying once in a month. With this new orthodontist, I have to put down a down payment and my um, my, but my monthly payment is different. 
So I just have to figure out what it is that I want to do and how much I want to put down. So for North Carolina, the minimum that I can put down is um, $500. So I can do more, but I can't do any less than $500. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is pain. Do bra I've got that a lot. Like, do braces hurt? Yes, braces hurt. I don't know how Invisalign feels because I've never had Invisalign. But for me, I got traditional braces. Um, hold on, wait. So, before I go any further, um, along with price, I got traditional metal because, well, I don't really know why I got for traditional metal as opposed to Invisalign. He, my, I think because, when I'm mistaken, the orthodontist that I met with uh, in Missouri, he told me that he might not be able to fix my issue with Invisalign, if, that, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember why. I don't know why I didn't get Invisalign. But I did not get Invisalign. I got traditional braces. And that's just the metal with the rubber bands. But then they also have the self-litigating braces. That I don't really know much about those. But they are the ones that are um, more like closer to the color of your teeth. And then there's Invisalign. And then they also have braces that go inside of your mouth. But I have never seen anybody have those. But I know they do exist. And then... Okay, so at the end of the video, I'm going to update y'all on where I'm at with my treatment. We'll talk more about traditional and Disneyland and all that. So that's why did I get traditional braces. That's really the only option we talked about. But everybody that I know that got Invisalign, they really just got it because for more so for vanity reasons. Like, I don't want to be 25 with metal in my mouth. I don't really care. So, that's that. Um, how was the pain? Okay, so next thing we're talking about is the pain with braces. Do braces hurt? Absolutely. Yes, braces hurt. I will not lie to you. I don't know how Invisalign feels. I've never had Invisalign, but with these metal ones, when I first got them put in, it was like right before I went home for Christmas. Right, right the first time that I had came home for Christmas while I was in Missouri. And I could barely, I had to literally eat at the back of my mouth and there are no teeth back there. So I was like gumming food. Like it hurt even for my teeth to touch when I first got them on. I don't know why it hurt so bad. I guess because the wire and the rubber bands are like put are starting to push your teeth together and this is kind of foreign and so it braces hurt I will not even lie to you and I have a very high tolerance for pain so if I'm saying that it hurt like that stuff hurts I'm, I'm not gonna lie and then when you go get your adjustments however long you get your adjustments most likely they're gonna hurt um, only just my ones that didn't hurt because they didn't do anything different but when they start adding, and when they add power chains, which is like, instead of doing individual rubber bands, it's a link of rubber bands. That's why it's called a chain. Um, when they start adding power chains to your mouth, oh my God. That, now that, it hurts. And if you, I would suggest either doing your, if you like go to work, I would suggest probably doing your appointments at the end of the day close to like the end of the work day just because it's kind of tough like having to go to work and your mouth hurting it, it is a distraction I mean I, I learned to deal with that as time went on but um, yeah they hurt they really hurt and with power chains they actually work pretty quickly because they had to correct they had to like shift my teeth over so they only power chain one side of my mouth and literally I went at like normally my problems were like nine I went nine, they did the power chains and all that, and by the time I got off work, there was a space in between my teeth. Like, power chains work very, very, very quickly. So, in that moving, because your teeth are moving and shifting, yes, it hurts. So, do braces hurt? Absolutely. And I have heard that, I can't imagine a Visalign not hurting, but I don't think it would hurt as much. Because your teeth are still moving and that's still painful, so, I would think that a Visalign hurts. Um, eating, what can I eat? At first, I was very scared to eat certain things um, because, like, I I literally followed the doctor's list, like, verbatim. If they said I could not eat it, I would not eat it. Like, chips. I did not eat chips for a long time. did not eat gum for a long time. But now, child, I'm going to eat that. Um, you're not... It, for me, when I eat, it's harder for me to bite into stuff. Like, biting into a sandwich. I definitely cannot bite into an apple. Um, it's just because of the brackets on my teeth it's really hard to like it's like your brackets meet the food before your teeth do if that makes sense so it's kind of difficult for me to bite into stuff even like biting into a strawberry is difficult let me just say this this is my experience i'm gonna tell you that 
this is how I feel with my braces. So if you have braces and you can eat whatever you wanted to and you had no problem, great for you, sis and brother. For me, I'm letting you know what the problem what the problems I had. What the problems were that I had. Um, it's some like when I eat strawberries, I like to cut them in half and sometimes even in fours just because it's just tough for me. And then certain things I bite into, it will go behind the bracket and then it'll go in between the middle of my teeth because there still is a small space there and it touches my nose. It's just a lot. So, uh -uh, wait a minute. Um, I try not to bite into like harder things, but softer things like a donut or like cake or something like that or a co no well, cookies are still kind of hard, but I don't have a problem biting into a cookie. But uh, is there anything you're not really supposed to eat gum and sometimes still now when I eat gum it does get caught on my bracket and I do have a band which is like a silver thing that goes around my tooth because the bracket won't stick to that tooth um, it gets caught underneath the bottom of that band um, yeah that you're not supposed to eat candy and chewy things but I be eating all of that you're not supposed to but I do and then because the sugar can stick to your teeth and because like you have the bracket in your mouth that bracket is covering a small portion of your tooth so like the sugar can get stuck around that and then you know your teeth be staying all that stuff but like y'all make sure you floss and brush and look good we'll talk about that too child because that oof. but i'm trying to think is there anything that i just um i ate corn on the cob it's still kind of tough for me to eat corn on the cob but i have eaten it a couple times I can't, now that, I, now that I'm talking about it, it's not really much that I limit myself from eating. If I don't eat something, it's because I don't like it. But, um, and then when I eat salad, it gets stuck all, stuff gets stuck all up and through. Anything that's really, um, stringy, I guess. Like, if I eat peaches or mangoes, they get stuck all in my teeth. And I'm going to show y'all what I use later on in the video, how to, like, clean my teeth while I'm out or anything like that. But salad gets stuck all in, like I eat, I eat spinach a lot and it gets stuck all in my teeth. Mangoes, peaches get stuck all in my teeth. Nuts are the worst because they get lodged behind you. Those little small pieces get lodged behind your bracket and it's just like creating pressure, but I still be eating them. Like I said, it's, not, it's nothing that I don't eat, but are things harder to eat because I have braces? Yes, I did crack my bracket one time while eating a chicken wing. Because I was biting into the chicken wing when I should have been pulling the chicken off. I was at Onyx on two hours Tuesday. And they, you know, them lemon pepper wings at Onyx. Um, I was tearing them things up. And I paid for it. I cracked my bracket. And I did crack another bracket in the back. But that's just because that tooth had a root canal. And it was just, I was eating a french fry when I cracked that one. That just came off because it couldn't stick to my tooth. Because I had a root canal on that tooth. So, that one wasn't my fault. But the chicken wing one, I had no business eating that chicken wing. So, be careful when you're eating chicken wings and stuff that can, you know, knock off your bracket. Um, cleaning. Okay, so, how do I clean? When I first got braces, they said you're supposed to clean your braces every time after you eat. When I used to be at work, I used to eat all the time. So, it was like a hassle for me to brush every time I ate something. That's why I use, you get little cleaning tools so you don't really got to brush. Um, but I don't brush any different. I did get a... What is it called? I did get a not a mechanical toothbrush, but what is it called when your toothbrush moves? Y'all know what I'm talking about. And you gotta press the button to make it. What is that called? Is it called mechanical? Let's look it up. Mechanical toothbrush. Mechanical toothbrush. It's called an electric toothbrush, duh, girl. Okay. I have an ele uh, electrical toothbrush, which I think really helps because it just moves faster than my hand can. It gets all up in there. And also, I got a water flosser. Oh my God. That water flosser changed my life. So let's just use that to swing into the next thing, which is things that you need to have when you have braces. Please hold. Okay, so things that I must have that you need to have too if you're about to get braces or you have braces. This is the first thing right here. This is my water flosser. I'm trying to tell y'all this thing is like life changing when you have braces. Because flossing with braces. 
is such a hassle. And I will show, let me, I'm going to show y'all the floss that I use. I cannot find the floss that I use for my braces, but it's a floss that has a hard plastic end and then a long piece of floss at the end. And when you get braces, they're probably going to tell you to use like threaders or something like that. But I never tried that. I never will because who has the time? But even with the floss that I use, and I will try to like insert a picture or put it in the description box, which one I specifically use. It's still a difficult task because you have to get it behind the bracket, then go in and out, and then get it, pull it out, get it in the next one. And some brackets are easier than others, but some of them are difficult. But with this thing, it just gets everything. You just turn this baby on. It's like um, when you go to the dentist and they use that thing to put water in your mouth. It's basically the same thing. And oh my god, like this thing. And it's, it's low-key nasty because you see all the stuff that comes out of your mouth after, like, if you do it, like, at the end of the day. You be like, oh, that was in my mouth. Like, it'd be, like, food and stuff. Well, I hope that's all that's in your mouth. But anyway, child, um, you just see all the stuff come out of your mouth. But I did ask my orthodontist. I mean, my, not my orthodontist, my dentist. And she said, just because you use a water flosser, that does not take away the option of flossing just because this does not... Um, this when I say this I mean this it does not take away it does not get the plaque you know y'all know what plaque is we learned about that a long time ago it doesn't get the plaque so you still need to floss but in the meantime this thing right here I'm trying to tell you and they do have like little small portable ones and I need to get one because who Jesus when I go when I travel and I don't have my water flosser I just feel so empty because this is really like saved my life and make sure the one you get let me see if I can zoom in. The one you get has this like um brush tip. It's like a, it's called an orthodontic tip, if I'm not mistaken. And if yours doesn't have it, you can order it online because I did have this one was given to me. Um my when my parents didn't want theirs, so they let me have it. And so I had to order the they had all the tips except for the orthodontic one. So I had to go and order the orthodontic tip on Amazon. It was not a lot. So, I mean, and it's just like a little brush and it allows you to literally place it on your on your braces without like hurting it so um you need a water foster you need the floss with the little hard plastic it's by oral b i don't know the name of it but it's like three dollars at walmart target wherever you get your toothpaste from you get that too and then wax now i bought this when i had braces i've had braces for almost two years and i have not used a lot it's little now this is not like wax like um, the wax that they give you. This is actually like when you go swimming and you need stuff to put, you need to put this in your ears when you go swimming. Let me see what it's called. It's called Max Pillow Soft Silicone Putty Earplugs. Although it is meant for the ears, I don't know if it's like don't put it in your mouth. No, it don't say you can't put it in your mouth. But I use this as like, I rarely use wax as it is, but sometimes I do have a bracket poking wax is used when you have something poking you in your mouth or something irritating your mouth and you're not going to be able to get to a dance for a while you can put um wax over it not dentist the orthodontist you put wax over it in order to kind of be create a barrier between like your braces and your um your braces and your lips or gums or whatever and although this is earwax i like this better because it's a lot softer and it doesn't and it's easier to mold as opposed to the typical wax that you'll get at the orthodontist. And if you get braces, you'll know what I mean. And this one, and this one is, it also lasts like, I have it like this one that's, I only used, I don't even think I used that much because I know I gave this girl, she took like a whole piece out of here. So I've only used it a little bit. I rarely use it because I rarely have a problem with my braces. But you just break off a little piece. And it's like this silicone that's real soft and it just like sticks to your braces easily. The last thing that I think is a must have for braces are these little um, brushes. They're called Pentec Easy Brush Interdental Cleaners. And they have different sizes, um, extra tight, standard, and wide, which means they have different size brushes. But these are perfect because they get behind my bracket and in between my brackets like when food gets stuck there like I told y'all when I'm eating like mangoes and peaches and stuff or like nuts they get stuck in my bracket so these just kind of poke through and get that stuff out of my brackets um 
And also stuff will get stuck at the top above my bracket. And so I just take it, why can't I open this? I take it, what? I take this and I just scrub across and if I need to get in between, I just go in between like that. Like in between each bracket. I like that. If I need to um, get something out of my teeth. Um, so I would suggest, highly suggest you keep these in your bag because stuff is going to get stuck in your teeth. It's just life with braces. Like Braces are really like having a kid. Like you always got to make sure they clean. You know, make sure they well taken care of, pay for them, you know, another expense, you know. And so just in closing, I just wanted to update you guys with where I'm at in my treatment process. So I got braces in December of 2016. We are now in 2018. Um, so almost two years with braces. And I could be done with treatment in a few months, but because I want perfection or as close as I can get to perfection, I'm probably going to have to get, not probably, I'm going to have to get four teeth pulled because in order to fix the flaring, they need to create space for my teeth to move back to. As of right now, there is no more space for my teeth to move. Um, and my proof, my previous orthodontist, he did go in and shave. And when I say shave, they just take something that's like an emery board and go in between your teeth and just basically file your teeth down. They did that when I first got them on just to even out the space in between my teeth. And then further on in my process to create some space for the rest of my teeth to move. So now we're at a standstill because there's no more space. And so when I met my new, well, I'm, I should probably, should I go get more? The biggest no, this was a black lady. She was real cool. I liked her, black owned, her and her husband are packed together. Anyways, I'm probably gonna stick with this. Um, she told me that she could shave some more and it'll give me, you know, slight reduction in the flare but in order for me to get what I want which is like no more flare at all I'm gonna have to get four teeth pulled two up here two up top because you cannot do something on one side and not do it on the other side you cannot do something on the top and I do it to the bottom because everything has to move together so um I don't know when I'm gonna get these teeth pulled but I'm gonna get these teeth pulled because like I said I want perfection or something very close to perfection so we're gonna get the four teeth pulled and then I'm probably gonna switch to Invisalign because with the teeth pulling, that's gonna add another year onto my braces. And I do not mind the year of break, another year of braces, but I do mind another year of brackets, which is what I had, which are the metal braces. I don't wanna do another year with those and not because I don't like looking at my braces. I don't care, like I feel like I look pretty cute with my braces. Well, I do feel like they make me look younger. It's okay, I'm, I've always gotten younger, but I think these make me look even younger. But that does not matter, but I just don't want, like I told you, you always have to clean them. They hurt. Like, one morning I woke up, my lips was dry, my lip got stuck on my brackets, and my lip was busted. So, um, and then lately I feel like something has been bothering my lip on the inside. So it's like, um, I feel like there's like a little cut on the inside of my lip. I'm over it. So, I'm probably going to switch to Invisalign. So, that's where I'm at. We're getting teeth pulled. We're switching to Invisalign. Of course, if you guys want to, I can keep you guys updated as we go along this process. Because, like I said, we have another year in braces, which is fine with me because I know the end result. And yes, braces are super duper frustrating and they do and they are painful. But as you see the progression in your teeth, it makes it all worth it. Like I kid you not, you're going to be so pissed like, why did I get these things in my mouth? Because you're going to want to eat and you cannot eat. But as you see your teeth improve you are going to love it and hopefully i inserted pictures in here for you guys to see like my progression with braces i did not do like what i should have been doing was like a monthly you know photograph but i can't insert pictures of like before i got braces and while i had braces and then when i went to orthodontist she took some when i went to the new orthodontist she took some pictures of my mouth and you guys can i will kind of i will try to show y'all from those pictures what um my teeth look like now and hopefully that gives you some insight so if you want braces i absolutely recommend that you get them absolutely 100 percent i'm all for braces i'm all for fixing the smile because teeth matter okay so that is it if you guys have any questions that i did not answer in this video which i think i tried to cover as much as i could but if there's anything else that you guys want to know please be sure to leave me a comment down below and don't forget to thumbs up this video and also share it if you're not getting braces anytime soon 
but you know somebody that might be share with them this might help them out that's all i have for you guys thank you so much for watching i'll see y'all in the next one